Uh, hi guys, uh, Danny's boyfriend here, Didi Speed Shop. Um, cars up near, as always. Um, so we, we left it last. I think I had it kind of figured out. It was running better, we'll call it. I wouldn't say it was running good. We managed to make it around the block without it dying. I actually put a few miles on it. It was so freaking loud. I didn't want to beat on it and all that. So I put a set of mufflers on it. Now, I left the cher uh, cherry bombs on and I put a set of just like turbo jobs. Are you going to show them the turbo mufflers? There you go. Thanks. So we're going to do that. So it should really quiet it down and realistically for road tripping, it's probably what we want. Now I have this, I just made this little cap real quick. I'm going to put this on, I don't know if I'm going to put it here or where I'll cut it all down. I don't know if I'll do it tonight or not. It'll have header dumps. So it'll have two mufflers simply because I didn't have enough pipe to eliminate that. And it was all together. So that's fine. But instead of plugs in it, um, they're a little fouled, a couple of them. I left it, I left the battery connected overnight. So let's drop it down. We'll see if it'll crank over and start or the battery's dead. So we have a draw. This thing I don't think has ever had the uh, plugged in overnight or left uh, together. So we'll just see if it runs. I have utmost confidence. I always have a lot of confidence. Ugh. Neutral check. Ooh. Fuel pump kicked on. The holly is on. It's always something. We got some issues with the um, TPS. Man, it's just always something here. So it ran fine. <laughs> last night when I backed in the garage left it plugged in and now it's not happy the story of my life is getting old it That's really smells like gas too eh? a lot of gas it reeks like fuel Super rich, it was 10 to 1. So I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> we'll see if it uh, clears itself out from idling.
same route we did a little bit yesterday. And, and just double check it is. The same route? Well, people were quite nice on that route. That's true.
has that little, uh, little stunner or whatever. Oh, wow, mom little, liked oh, it. Single mom liked it. Did you see that? <laughs> she's pumped. She's smiling. Looking back at her kid. That is the fun thing about old cars. It does when it's not popping and banging. It makes a lot of people happy. But when it is popping and banging, it makes one person really. Oh, ugly. that lady was so mad. <laughs> That was close to home. So mad. It is the name of the car after all. So that's everything's off. Just neutral. We'll start hot. We'll have a cola. I'll we'll work on this thing later. Am I dirty? You're very dirty. <laughs> you need to open the door for me. All right. Avoid my ass crack. No, they like it. New day. Uh, we got home last night, parked cars. It was like a little cloudy. I went for some supper and the sky opened up with rain and hail. And wouldn't you know it, I left this outside. Uh, I really shouldn't own nice things. That's hail. 
Oh my god, I gotta move this thing. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Whoops! That's fine for the EFI. Ah, it's not like it's a super rare roof or anything like that to get pelted with hail. Idiot, had to drive it in, got all soaking wet, I was cranky. That's where I ended it. So I came home from work, and I thought we're gonna finish off the exhaust on this thing. So, in a video or two ago, I had these, so these are, oh, whatever they are, they bolt to the back of a collector, so whether they are a collector or extension or just whatever. Anyways, I ground down these pieces, cut them out of some quarter inch plate, so these are fender well caps. Now they do sell these, they're very pricey for what they are. They sell the electric ones, I've had a set of the electric ones, I've had a bunch of them. They screw up. Maybe if you buy the fancy ones, they don't, but the Amazon ones, they screw up, especially going through winter and all that. This bolt, nut and bolt, and a gasket, Hard to screw up. So we started with that. I then cut a little slice of this one and I started massaging it with the grinder. Just kind of screwing around. And I cut ourselves a hole in the, uh, the bottom of the, the header. And I think we're gonna do something along those lines. Far enough away, but I think they'll look kind of cool. Very race car-esque. Now, a few things. This is probably pretty close to the O2, which on the other side is probably there. So or there, I don't know where I put it. So it's maybe 12 inches, we have to build an extension. I know they do like a little bit of exhaust pipe after the O2. Um, realistically, these are just for show. I'm a poser, it's gonna look cool, it's gonna look the part, whether we actually use them or not, who knows. We'll probably use them today, obviously. We gotta test it out and see what it's all about. But uh, yeah, the car's running real great and I want to finish off the exhaust because I just kind of threw it together. I know I said I wanted to do this and I didn't get to it, so. Let's get this welded on real quick. I'll do the other side and carry on. I think it's gonna be pretty freaking neat. And now, uh, I did make sure I had the fender kind of half pulled off. We're gonna put the fender back in its spot and make sure it's you know, not gonna interfere with anything because once it's welded on, unwelding is a lot harder than welding, as I've learned. So back on the ground, I mean it looks just kind of how it looks, but I dig it. Honestly, I don't think it's going to sound much different than it did when it had uh, just the glass packs on it, because those don't do a whole lot of muffling. They're mufflers. Anyways, put you all on the tripod. Sorry, sorry. I mean to kick you there. Mop up. Neutral check. Computer on check. No, full start check. Get all kicked off. Shocker. Who'd have thought when you cut the exhaust off right at the header it'd be loud. So there you go, we have obscenely loud. We have the ability to have all the mufflers on, which is pretty sweet. And we actually could pull those back mufflers off for an intermediate thing. Uh, definitely running a little rich there, but way she goes. Um, again, and the Holly guy, he always reaches out and helps me out. I love that guy. You spend all your money there and 
you get personalized service. So that's really it for this video. We did a little test drive. I think it's a win. We got the exhaust dialed. I'm pretty happy with this thing. So the next step now, this thing is absolutely ready to be driven as far as I'm concerned. She's done. Uh, obviously, a car that was apart this far isn't just, we're done, drive it. It needs done bolt checking, screwing around, all that sort of stuff. But now it's the final thing. I'm going to go overkill and stuff. So the next video, um, I'm definitely going to move the battery. It's very close to that exhaust header. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just take that mount off if I can, spin it, put it right here, maybe lengthwise. Battery here, open up the firewall. We're going to have all of our holly on one side, all of our ignition on this side. Even now I move these, uh, the relays and stuff. So I can move this coil further away if I want to. I ordered some Faraday tape, so I should be able to kind of wrap that all around or maybe some sort of insulating or grounding wire looming, but we'll get that done. And I have that big radiator, it must be in the other shop, so I'm going to place that in here and just see exactly how it's going to fit and what it's going to look like and go from there. This would absolutely keep it cool in standard weather and stuff like that, but if you're in a parade situation and it's hot as heck out, a big old radiator can't hurt so we're going to modify the grill shell on this that's the only thing that's going to be a little rough I mean, this completely stock automobile is going to get a little cut up anyway so we're going to do that it'll be a front mount so you're going to have to screw around with the uh, radiator hoses and all that but we can run dual fans it's a big two core and uh, it should be great it's the same radiator we've run in a lot of stuff we ran it last year at power tour in the 57 chevy and it kept absolutely perfect the whole time so i'm going to get on that right away but the next video for you guys. So thank you very much for watching and being along for this journey. And uh, hopefully more to come. I'm excited to keep putting miles in this thing and slowly but surely working the kinks out. And honestly, after the next video, the next couple days, I think it's ready to just start driving. So if you want to see that, let me know. I find the driving videos extremely boring. The wrenching videos where the fun is at. But if you want to see me suffer in this thing, put a comment in there. See you later.